Hi, I'm Jeremy from Synadia. Today I want to give you a quick tour of our latest project, the Synadia Control Plane. Synadia Control Plane is the easiest way to manage your NAT's infrastructure, in the cloud, on-premise, and at the edge. Let me show you what I mean. The first thing I'm greeted with when I go into Control Plane is the cluster overview. This is an overview of your full NAT's topology. It spans across clouds and across regions, so I can see each of my clusters and start analyzing the health of each of them. I get historical data about things like CPU and memory usage and connections and subscriptions, but I could also dive in and look at individual servers and how they're doing. And this view is really nice to be able to get an overall set of health metrics for your various servers and clusters. If I wanted to dive deeper, I could simply click into a cluster and click the magnifying glass to view its connections. This shows me all of the connections currently on the AWS North America cluster. I can group these things by account, or I can group them by user or application, and many, many other variables like server, language, and even reasons why clients may have been disconnected. This becomes a really powerful feature for being able to diagnose issues, analyze round trip times for various services, and generally group and filter to see what you need at any given time in, in real time. One of the things we take really seriously around here at Synadia is security. One of the concepts in NAT's security model is accounts. These are completely isolated tenants within a NAT's system. You can see that I have an account for my cloud services and an account for my fleet of trucks. Let's add another account just to show you how it works. I hit create account and I add the account name. I could call this Jeremy and I could set individual limits for this account. I can enable Jetstream and even set Jetstream limits here. I'm gonna hit save. And that's how easy it was to create an account and push it to my NATS system. We'll revisit this account in a sec, but for now, let's explore how to manage Jetstream assets inside of Control Plane. I'm going to click into the cloud account, go over to streams. And you can see I have no streams here yet, but I can easily create one. Fortunately, I have some clients that are already emitting some data as part of core NATS. So I can ingest this data very easily by simply creating a stream. Let's create a stream called completed payments and let's ingest the subject of payments dot greater than. This is going to take all of the events that match this subject and put it into the stream. I can scroll down a little bit, and at the bottom, I can choose which cluster I want to put this stream on. In this case, let's choose AWS North America and give it a replication factor of three. I'm going to hit save, and immediately my stream is created. If I refresh the page, you can see that messages are already starting to flow in which is great. Now, one of the challenges with running a multi-cloud or multi-region deployment is data has to live somewhere, and that's going to incur latency in other places, especially if your data is centralized. With Jetstream, this latency problem is solved by creating mirrors. And in Control Plane, you can create a mirror very, very easily. Simply create a mirror and choose which region to put it in. In this case, I'm gonna put it in our AWS APAC region. And instead of a replication factor of three, I really just need one replica. I'm gonna hit save. I'll refresh the page and notice that it's all synced up with the original stream. Let's go ahead and create a client application to consume data from this new stream. I'm gonna go over to users and I'm gonna create a brand new user called payment analysis. In NATS, users are simply a set of credentials that applications can use to connect to your NATS system. Control plane makes user management easy. I can simply create a user, assign a group to it, and give it any sort of permissions or limits that I want. In this case, I'm going to leave it open. I'm gonna dive into the payments user. I'm gonna hit the connect button to connect my application. I'll download the credentials and follow the instructions. Once I've connected, you can see the application has been securely connected into the NATS system. If I go to the connections tab, I can also see my payment analysis service is properly running. Not only that, but if I set color by to messages received, you can see that it's starting to receive messages from the stream. Let's say this user's credentials were compromised and we need to revoke it. Well, that's really easy in Control Plane. I could simply go over to the user and revoke its access. And you could see that access is immediately revoked. We even get a little disconnect message saying why. If I want to restore access, I can simply unrevoke this and our client has automatically reconnected. One aspect that is critical to multi-tenancy in NATS is being able to share subjects and streams between multiple accounts. Synadia Control Plane makes this really easy. Let's head on over to Exports, Jetstream, and export our completed payments stream. 
I can then select which account I want to share this with. In this case, I'm going to share it with the Jeremy account that I just created. And I'll hit add account. Over on the Jeremy account, I'll receive an invitation to accept this stream. Now that the stream is imported into my account, I can create a mirror for it. Now I have a brand new mirror of our completed payment stream in my new account, all with just a few clicks. And this just scratches the surface of some of the amazing things that you can do inside of Synedia Control Plane. If you're interested in using Synedia Control Plane inside of your organization, visit synedia.com and fill out the form that you're interested in Control Plane. We look forward to hearing from you. Thanks.